Once upon a time, there was a very lonely seahorse named Lenny. He felt like life was worth nothing at the moment. He had no friends and was not enjoying his life in his coral home. Sad, right? Little did he know that high above the sea level was a dog named Roxy who felt the same way. Roxy was having a hard time being a happy pooch. She didn't like going to the dog park to play frisbee with her fellow dog friends. She hated biscuits. She was even starting to despise her daily walks. What was to become of this? Okay, then. One day, Roxy's owner was taking her for a walk along the beach. Roxy was miserable, but luckily destiny took its part. Lenny was just along the shore, and his seahorse and dog bumped into each other. It was meant to be like peanut butter and jelly. Hello, Dr. Carr. Drew, me and my husband are deciding whether or not we want to have kids, and we're wondering what they'll look like because of our genes. Power Rangers Ignite! Oh, never mind. False alarm. So anyway, these diagrams here are what we call Punnett squares. It gives scientists like me an idea of what an offspring's traits might look like. For your eyes, you both carry the dominant and recessive genes. Since your eyes are round, is the, since round eyes is the dominant trait, there's only a 25% chance that your offspring will have square eyes. See right here? The big R is the trait for round eyes. Since there's only two R's, um, there's only a 25% chance out of these four that your offspring will have square eyes. Both of you carry the recessive trait for color, which means that all of your offspring will most likely or will be yellow. You both carry two recessive genes, big B, little b, which means all of your children have to be yellow. As for your children's gender, it will be a 50-50 chance that they are either male, male or female. XY stands for guy, XX stands for female. So there's a 50-50 chance that your, kid, your offspring will either be boy or girl. Lenny carries two dominant traits for a triangular nose, while Roxy carries two recessive traits for an oval nose. So since the dominant trait dominates, your children will most likely have triangular noses. As you can see, big T, little t, big T, little t, big T, little t, big T, little t. Only Roxy carries one dominant trait, so it's about a 50-50 chance that your children will have either pointed or square teeth. Big P, little p, big P, little p, or little p, little p, little p, little p. Makes sense? Yeah, thank you so much, Dr. Power Ranger. I think we both have a better understanding on the topic. Keep on fighting those bad guys. Will do! Ah, they're so cute. They're everything we wanted and so much I more. I agree. I agree. They're perfect. I can't believe I'm actually a grandma. Yippee! I, I still look like I'm 23, though, right? Sure. Mom, it's so good of you to come. Would you like to see the babies up close? Of course I would. This is Squirt. His genotype for color is little b, little b, or yellow. For gender, it is XY or guy. For eyes, it's little r, little r. For square eyes. And for nose, it's big T, little t. For triangle. And for teeth, it's little p, little p, which means square teeth. This is Lily. Her genotype for color is little b, little b, or in other words, yellow. For gender, she is a female, or XX. And then for eyes, it is big R, little r or round eyes, and for nose, it's big T, little t, or triangle nose, and then for teeth, it's big P, little p, and then pointed teeth. For color, which means she is, or he. This is Stitch. Um, his genotype for color is little b, little b, so he's yellow. For gender, he's XY, which means he's a guy. 
For eyes, it's little r, little r, which means he has square eyes. For nose, it's big t, little t, so his eyes are, or his nose is triangular. For teeth, it's little p, little p, so he has square teeth. This is Lilo. Lilo's genotype for color is little b, little b, which means she's yellow. Her gender is XX, which means she's a female. Her eyes are little r, little r, which means that she has square eyes. Her nose is big T, little t, which means it's triangular. Her teeth are big P, little p, which means she has pointed teeth. This is Leela. Her genotype for color is little b, little b, which means she's yellow. Her genotype for gender is XX, which means she's a girl. Her genotype for eyes is big R, little r, which means she has circular eyes. Her genotype for nose is big T, little t, which means she has a triangular nose. And her genotype for teeth are little p, little p, which means she has square teeth. This little guy is Lenny Jr., and he looks just like his dad. His genotype type for color is little b, little b, which means he's yellow. His gender is XY for guy. His eyes are big R, little r, which means he has round eyes. His nose is big T, little t, which means he has a triangular nose. His teeth is R, little p, little p, which means he has square teeth. If, th if that's their genotype, then what's ours? Well, that is a very good question. I am Lenny, the dad, and this is my genotype. Little b, little b, which stands for the color yellow, for I see them up. My genotype for color is little b, little b, which means I'm yellow. My genotype for gender is XX, which means I'm female. My genotype for eyes is big R, little r, which means I have round eyes. My genotype for nose is t little t, little t, which means I have an oval nose. And my genotype for teeth is big P, little p, which means I have pointed teeth. Hi, my name is Lily Long John, and I am the grandma. My genotype for color is little b, little b. That means I am yellow. For gender, I am XX, which means I'm a female. For eyes, I'm big R, big R, which means I have circle eyes. And for nose, I have little t, little t, which means I have oval. For teeth, I have little p, little p, which means I have square.